All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome again to Mr. B's Baseball Breaks. Very excited right now, as you can see me rubbing my hands in anticipation, my monitor's reflection. Today, I will be op opening, on this beautiful day, a Topps 2019 Series 2. Oh, let's see. There we go. There it is. Don't have much space. Still working it out. So it's a hobby box. It's not the jumbo hobby. I was debating which one to get. This is $84 plus tax here in Canada. Uh, the jumbo box, I think, was over $110, $120. Um, for the type of collector I am, I'm not so much in it for the autos and relics. I'm in it more for, the obviously, the base set as well as the insert sets. I've made a list here of the cards that I'm looking for. Um, definitely the 1984 inserts. Uh, faces of franchise or things I'm looking for and the the um, uh, What's it called significant stats inserts as well? So for me um, based on the math uh, Basically you get better bang for your buck per card with these sets obviously I'm not going to get the full set with this hobby box You kind of are more guaranteed that with the jumbo hobby, but there's more packs in here as you can see there are I should say that 24 packs in the box, 14 cards per pack. So for me, it's a little bit more fun to crack open more packs. Yeah, I'm only going to get one hit, traditional hit, but that's cool with me. Like I said, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. So very excited. I guess I don't have much space. I need to get a wide screen lens, but very excited to crack this box open and see what we got in here. So I'm going to get my trusty knife here, give it a little cut. Now, I do apologize for my first video. I did film it with my camera, which is just basically my phone, in an upright position, which looks fine on the phone, but when you go widescreen, it's uh, not so good. So there we go, we got the wrappers off here. Let's see here, open this bad boy up. Oh, look at all those packs. So you got Hank Aaron, Mike Trout on the cover, and I'm uh, stationed outside of Toronto. So um, I'm actually going to be seeing Mike Trout play at the Rogers Center this upcoming Thursday. Well, there we go. There's the packs. Now let's put it off to the side here. All right. Pretty cool. Excited. Let's get started. So lots of good rookies in this set for the Series 2. Series 1 was pretty good. Um, collected that entire set, and I'm just kind of looking. I buy the odd pack here and then. Here and there to try to get some good inserts, but um, there we go. First card, Pat Neshek, reliever for the Philadelphia Phillies. Pretty nice card. We got Patrick Wisdom, rookie card. Make sure these are all in focus. Malik Smith. A lot of people are happy about the borders being back. Um, not quite a huge fan of the hockey stick look. Um, Pablo Reyes. Oh, Kevin Kiermeyer. Very nice. Nice photo there, sliding and making a catch on the road. I'm also looking, so basically what I'm looking for is, you know, the short prints, got a bunch of rookie cards like Fernando Tatis Jr., Clint Frazier, Future Stars, Scott Kinnery, Ozzy Albies, Otani, Rosario, Eloy Jimenez, Vlad Jr. is a big card I'm looking for. There's a short print, Roberto Alomar. That's basically what I'm looking for. Minnesota Twins card. Oh, there we go. That's a good insert set. The 150 years. Here's Johnny Miz. Buys. I'm not sure. I'm not quite familiar with this era. A bit before my time. So that's going to go in the insert pile. Oh, Eddie Arinciarte. I'm not sure if this is a insert or a short print. I don't think so. But um, let's see here what the code is on it. Five, six, two, six, two. Yeah, this is just a base card and a retro look. Ronald Torres, former Yankee. Cool to see him with the Twins. Haven't checked his stats yet. Hope he's doing well. Yashiro Hirani for the Diamondbacks. Ayer Adrianza for the Minnesota Twins. Yu Darvish for the Cubs. Very nice picture here. Chad Pinder from the Oakland Athletics. And, oh, that's a cool card. Troy Tulowitzki with the New York Yankees. Um, he's injured now. Looks like he's not going to be playing in pinstripes. Um, injured again. You know, first season or first uh, first game of the season, he did hit a home run. It's kind of crazy to think that the Yankees had him playing over DJ uh, LeMayhew, who's been absolutely raking this year. 
So, you know, this is my main complaint about series, uh, 2019 series is 14 cards per pack, you get one insert. My last video, I was opening up 10 card packs retail and getting about two to three inserts per card. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Hunter Renfrew. Framber Valdez rookie card. Isaiah Kinner Falfa. Interesting name. Eric Feedy. Wellington Castillo for the Chicago White Sox. That's kind of cool. Two side profile or uh, two um, catchers. Same type of. Austin Barnes. Oh, that's pretty cool. There we go. My first 1984 retro look. And I think that's on my list. So Bryce Harper. Yep. I'm going to check that off. Pretty nice card there with the Phillies. So this is my first Bryce Harper Phillies card. Anything else? No, of course. One insert per pack. Gotta love that. And then Nick Martini. Max Muncy. That's a card I have on my list as well, I believe. Uh, first Max Muncy card. I don't believe he was in the first edition. I love his uh, Get It Out of the Ocean shirts. He's been trolling Baumgartner and the Giants with. Awesome Meadows came over to the Rays for the, in the Chris Archer deal. He's been absolutely destroying the ball this year. Great card. And again, not a fan of the Future Stars look. Last year it was in just gold, but I'm not a big fan of the you know, funky 80s, 80s early 90s colors. Josh Riddick. Big WWE fan, Dustin Fowler, Jared Hughes, and wrapping up this pack is Aaron Altair. I don't know how much playing time he's getting in Philly this year, especially with them just getting uh, Jay Bruce from Seattle. And you got Scott Kinnery, who is another good favorite player of mine, who's now playing center field, it looks like, because they got Gene Segura playing uh, on the infield and Cesar Hernandez, so... All right, Ian Kinsler, who played for the Red Sox last year. He's now in San Diego. Julio Urias, great pitcher. Uh, was in the news recently for some domestic stuff, but I think that was all kind of cleared away. Kurt Suzuki with the Washington Nationals. Jose Briseno, rookie card. Arizona Diamondbacks team card. I love these team cards this year. Um, it has a cool shot of the stadium. As you can see here, Cleveland's, uh, I don't know, progressive field. But on the back, it gives you a bit about the lineup, last year's top stats, guys, and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, Cleveland Indians, progressive field. I've actually been here before. I saw a no-hitter, Urban Santana's no-hitter. I was at that game. It was pretty cool because he gave up a run in the first or second inning with a bunch of uh, walks and errors. Oh, we got another... 1984 card, Cardinals. Let's see, I'm going to say Albert Pujols or Goldschmidt. And no, Daniel Ponce de Leon, rookie card. Pretty cool card with a football. And that's interesting. Very nice. And Jason Hayward for the Chicago Cubs. Jacoby Ellsbury. I saw him on a checklist that was released about a week prior to this set being released. And I was just like, why is he, why are you wasting a spot? And I'm a Yankees fan on Jacoby Ellsbury. Hasn't played in a year and a bit, and I don't see him. Even if he does come back, he's not playing for the Yankees. Um, but then again, with his contract, I don't know who's... We're going to have to basically pay someone to take him off our hands. Nate Jones. Nick Williams, another great prospect that's kind of fallen off. I checked his stats today, under 200. Um, again, that crowded outfield in Philly. I don't see him getting much time. But a lot of promise with this guy when he came up, but uh, hasn't quite met his expectations, much like J.P. Crawford, who was traded to Seattle in offseason. Great card, though. I love that those retro, kind of cream-colored Phillies uni unis. Zach Elfin, pitcher for the Phillies. And there we go, Young Carlos Stanton. I was actually shocked he wasn't in Series 1. Um, last year, he was in Series 2, I believe, so I guess that's a common trend, but he was still in his Miami um, Marlins uniform. So this is actually, I've just been getting back into collecting. This is my first common card of Stanton in Yankees pinstripes, who should be back today, actually. It's on, I'm filming this on Tuesday. And here's Rezil Iglesias for the Cincinnati Reds. Okay, let's see. This one feels a bit thicker. I'm still looking for a hit here. And what we got here? Oh, got a decent card at the back there. Steven Gonzalez, rookie card for the Minnesota Twins. 
We got Keon Cayley for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Reese McGuire, rookie card for the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, I think he played a couple games this year, but he's kind of in the depth chart between uh, Jansen and Luke Maley. But Jansen, he's really struggling this year. I figured he'd be having a decent year after coming up after they traded um, Russell Martin last year, but not quite. Steve Sisek for the Cubs. We got Chris Davis. Oh, that guy. Sorry, Baltimore fans. You're paying this guy a lot of money to not do that much. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, looks like it is Bowman. So it looks like it's going to be an iconic reprint card. Derek Jeter, maybe? Oh, Derek Jeter. Good call. That does That is a young-looking Derek Jeter. So this is probably yeah, an iconic card. That's pretty cool. Derek Jeter card. So that goes in inserts. Ryan Brazier for the... Boston Red Sox. Gary Sanchez having a great rebound year for the Yankees. I remember when this guy came up. He was hitting the ball to opposite field. He was just raking. Then, last couple of years, he fell into that trap of trying to yank everything to left field for those cheap, easy home runs. Yeah, he was hitting 20 home runs, but his average plummeted. This year, he's hitting home runs to right, uh, center right. He's hitting doubles in the gap. He's finally hitting like a proper baseball player. I hate guys that yank. Um, you know, same with Gary. Uh, what's his name? Torres was doing the same thing for a bit, but he's now swinging to all fields. Trevor Story, great, great story when he first came up. All those home runs he hit before he got injured. David Freeze always will be remembered for that World Series. All those clutch home runs. Chris Davinsky, don't know much about him. Ah, oh, here we go. Manny Machado with the San Diego Padres. Gonna check that off my list here. That's a pretty cool card. And Walker Bueller. I think that's on my list as well. Big fan of Walker Bueller. Rookie Cup card for the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, so keep on going here. So maybe I'll pull from a different pile. Again, it looks like, again, one hit, one insert per pack. All right, Adam Wainwright for the St. Louis Cardinals. Chris Martin, not uh, the lead singer of Coldplay. Howie Kendrick for the Washington Nationals. Daniel Mengden with the cool mustachio, as you can see there. Pretty cool stuff. All right, Windy City Warriors, Baez and Contreras celebrate a win for the Chicago Cubs. I've got to say, though, about the Cubs, when they won that World Series, I think it was Game 6? No, it would have been Game 5, I believe, and they were, they sang them off the field. That was goosebump moment, got to say. There's Chicago White Sox, guaranteed right field. Horrible name for a... Stadium it will always be New Comiskey. Oh, that's a cool card. Color of the Rockies, Coors Field with the fireworks night. Oh, first gold card, Zach Wheeler for the New York Mets. As you can see, it is numbered of 2019. There we go. Ian Kinsler. So that's another double that I got. So I'm pretty sure that's in a short print. There we go. Albert Pujols for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Miguel Rojas from Miami Marlins. I'm glad they changed their logo and their color scheme. Definitely uh, much nicer. One of the only nice, good, or one of the only good things that Derek Jeter's done in his tenure as owner of the Miami Marlins. Here's John Hicks, catcher slash first base for the Detroit Tigers. And Yasmiro Pitti went across the bay from San Francisco to Oakland. And Christian Vasquez for my rival Boston Red Sox. All right. So a little bit more about me. Um, grew up a Jays fan. A uh, big Jimmy Key fan. Followed him to New York. Became a Yankees fan. Um, also an Expos fan. You know, I, I don't mind the Jays. Uh, especially this young roster is pretty good. Wasn't a fan of Batista and all those guys. Um, yeah, so I like to collect, you know, Expos stuff. You know, I like to collect the Jays stuff. Yankees especially, Cubs, stuff like and Phillies because of my MLB The Show franchise. All right, Aramis Garcia, rookie card for San Francisco. Travis Jankowski from the Padres. 
Jeffrey Springs rookie card. That looks like an like a short print, but it's not. Bryce Wilson or Bryce Wilson rookie card for the Braves. Okay, Sandy and Alcantara for the Miami Marlins. And what do we got here? Another Greg Allen gold card. 514. Oh, this is pretty cool because he's been hitting so much home runs. So I'm going to have to redeem this soon and see if I can get a home run challenge. You put the code on the website. If he hits a home run for the date you select, you get sent a redemption card. I'm not sure if it's going to be a picture of that home run. Probably not, but pretty cool. Alex Blandino. Danny Salazar for the Cleveland Indians. Adam Duvall. For the Braves, Tyler Naquin. I'm not sure how he's quite doing. I know he had a lot of promise when he came up with the Indians. Let's see here. I bat 260 last year. It's not too bad. But like 296 when he first came up. His first... Yeah, he played almost a full season. Kind of bit a bit downhill from there. All right. Roberto Perez, Cleveland Indians. As you can see, they've gone to the... Um, the just the, new, the letter logo. Freddy Peralta in those beautiful retro Milwaukee Brewers logos. I wish they would just ditch this and go back to the um, MB baseball glove. All right. Adam Conley for the Miami Marlins. Right. Finishes up that pack. All right. Still looking for that hit. Next pack, we got Nelson Cruz, his first year in Minnesota. Oh, Carlos Santana. Pretty cool candid card of him in the dugout of Oakland. Yellen Beaks, rookie card. Noel Cuevas. Baltimore Orioles, Camden Yards, beautiful ballpark. Can't wait to go to see it one day. There we go, Yankees, powerful pair. Judge and Stanton, both on the injured reserve, but both should be back by the end of the week. And I think got another gold card, and it's Alex Bregman, that's pretty cool. I actually have a gold card, future stars card of Alex Bregman from, I think, last year or two years ago. So that's a pretty cool card. At 452. William Williams Astudalilos, rookie card. Not familiar with him. Sheng Huang Oh, former Blue Jay, now Colorado Rocky. Andrew Chafin, with a cool mustachio as well. Kyle Gibson, Adam Plutko, I thought it was Plunko. That'd be a pretty cool name for a pitcher. Ryan McMahon, I'm a genius. Vince McMahon's illegitimate son. No, that's not true. And Eduardo Nunez, former Yankee, former Giant. Did very well in, for the Red Sox. Has a World Series ring. And it makes me sick. All right, next pack, next pack. Let's see what we got in here. All right. Let's see here. Oh, Sam Dyson. He really sucks. No, I'm just joking. But he gave up that big home run to Jose Batista, the bat flip. Steven Tarplay, rookie card for the Yankees. I think he might be on injured reserve. Brett, uh, Ben Gamble, cool card there. Texas Rangers. So apparently the stadium's closing after this year, I believe. Um, not even at, like 1994. It's like the Braves got a new stadium. And that was made in 95, 96 for the Olympics. They already got a new one. Rugnan Odor knocked out Jose Batista. I think I watched that gif hundreds of times. All right, what we got there? Stephen Brot for the, oh, another gold card. Will Myers, that's pretty cool. Again, I like those cool retro looking. That reminds me of the 1990, uh, was it 98 World Series where they... Got swept by the Yankees. Luis Ortiz, rookie card. Brian Goodwin. Alex Bregman to go along with that gold card. As you can see, it's still there. Pedro Baez. An upside-down Matt Kemp, who I think was just released by the Cincinnati Reds. Christopher Negron. Oh, I like those retros jerseys. And rookie cup card for Ryan Yarbrough. All right, so we're humming along here. Hope you're enjoying it. Again, comment on it if you like what I got. Any good hits, any suggestions, I'm always open for it. Carlos Taki, rookie card. Have to make another pile here. 
Siano Perez, Houston Astros rookie card. Nope. I think this is another J. Rowdy Telez, great player. I like this guy. Great story with him coming up. All those extra base hits he hit. Um, he's starting, you know, he's still hitting some popular. He'll be a good player. Tampa, ugh, this is a hideous, beautiful Tampa Bay, and you got to go into this to watch baseball, though not many people do. I know that uh, recent series this year against the Blue Jays had some of the worst attended games for uh, the history of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, or the Rays, sorry. Roman Quinn, that's a cool card. Him sliding in there with his dreads. No, what do we got here? Oh, I think this is a short print because we already got an Albert Pujols card. All right, so let's check out the codes here. No. Let's see if I can get that to focus. All right. Anyways, let's see. 62 is the code on this one. It is 31. Not sure if that's going to show up very well. I apologize, guys. Still working out. All right. Well, trust me. It's 31 on the back of the card. So that is a short print pool holes. And look, we got two inserts this time. You see a Kachuki. Or Kikuchi, I think this is the guy that had just recently signed from Japan. Uh, I think the Yankees were in on him. I'm sure a lot of teams were. That's a pretty decent pack. You got an Albert Pujols short print and a 1984 rookie card. All right. Here we go. Jorge Lopez. Austin Wins rookie card. Tyler White. Kevin Kramer. Not Cosmo. Daniel Polka. Not Polka. Yandy Diaz for the Cleveland Indians. And Anthony Desclafani. That's a mouthful. All right. Let's pick one from this pack. Okay, dokie. Let's see. Nothing in there as far as relics. Dewell Lugo, rookie card for the Tigers. You got Patrick Corbin. First card. He just big signing for the Nationals. Uh, Yankees were looking for him. We got Paxton instead, but there we go. Billy McKinney, this guy I thought would do a lot better this year. He's got some speed, good fielding. I thought he'd be hitting better for average, but uh, not starting off well. I believe he's now playing in Buffalo. I remember his Yankees prospect came over in the J.A. Happ deal. Okay, Peter O'Brien. And there we go. That's the card, one of the cards I was looking for. Fernando Tatis rookie card. Oh, and then I got a Bo Jackson reprint card. There we go. That's pretty cool. And oh, and oh, this is my first. No, I think I've gotten a uh, Memorial Day one. So as you can see here, there's the, uh, this is a parallel card for Alex Blandino, numbered out of 76, because that was the year the Americans uh, had independence. And that's a pretty cool card. Again, like I mentioned in my last video, last year's 2018, I really liked. They, it was more pronounced like this. It's just the outside and a bit here. Uh, but that's a pretty cool card. I'm very happy about that. So there we go. Two packs in a row with uh, two inserts. So there's Carlos Carrasco, Jose Pereza, Brandon Workman, Dylan Batansis. That's a cool card. Him kind of floating in the air. Hope to get him back this year for the Yankees. Definitely pitched a lot of innings. Had a couple of, well, I'd say one off year. But I think he was overused, personally. Matt Barnes. CC Sabathia, this guy, just keeps on. He's become a pitcher, which is the thing I like the most about him. He was dominant in his early part of his career. Lefty, high, good fastball, good, good changeup and curveball. Lost velocity, thought he could still... Chuck it by, guys. He's finally adapted to become a pitcher, not a thrower. And he's definitely been met with more success after some bumpy years. And there's another rookie card I was looking for. Jimenez for the uh, Chicago White Sox. So that's another card I was... Oh, is this a... Kind of looks like a foil, but it's not pretty cool, though. So I'm actually making some good checks off of my list of base cards that I'm looking for. All right, Evan Longoria for the San Francisco Giants. All right, Diego Castillo, rookie card. This guy can chuck it. John Gant, 
Lance Olin for the Texas Rangers. Brian Shaw. Dustin Pedroia doesn't look like he's coming back. I don't know if I see him playing again, but you know, he's I'll, I'm not a Red Sox fan. I'm a Yankees fan, but this guy was a good player. All right, let's see here. Oh, another 150 card. Let's see what we got here. Alex Rodriguez, greatest players as a Seattle Mariner. There we go. And Taylor Rogers. Ildemar Vargas, former Yankee, Tyler Austin. I still remember that game. I was so excited to watch Aaron Judge's debut. He was up that first. Hits a home run in his first plate appearance. Next at bat, Aaron Judge. Boom. He hits his first home run. Two Yankees making their MLB debut, hitting back-to-back -back homers at Yankee Stadium. And there's another card off my list. Number 400 of the set, Bryce Harper in the Philadelphia Phillies. Nice cream white uniforms there. Very nice card. I don't think there's an insert here yet. And this is probably a dead pack. Nice. Aradis Vizcayano. Alberto Mejia and Garrett Cole. So, classic uh, Tops 2019. No, we'll have to double check after there's any short prints, but didn't look like it. So, there's a dead pack to make up for those packs where I got two inserts. How dare they give me two? We gotta, you know, take that back. Nope, doesn't look like anything's in here. All right, Tyler O'Neill, St. Louis Cardinals, Future Stars card. Jacob Faria. Jeff Mathis, Carson Kelly, John Edwards for the Cleveland Indians, Sean Newcomb, hope he's okay, he took a liner off his head the other day, scary thing, you never like to see that, all right, Cubs 1984 All-Star, I'm going to say Chris Bryant or Rizzo, but I'm going to go with Chris Bryant, oh no, Ryan Sandberg, there we go, that's a cool card. Personal data. Interesting. All right. Chris Owings. Euless Chassin. Charlie Culberson. I say a lot of these guys I'm not too familiar with. Tony Kemp. Houston Astros. Chris Shaw, rookie card. Don't know how much playing time he's getting this year. Fernando Rodney. I believe he's been DFA'd. Yankees love him. Trevor Hildenberger, pretty cool name, Hildenberger. All right, getting there, going through the packs now. Oh, what do we got here? Nomar Mazzara for the Texas Rangers. Wilmer Font for the Tampa Bay Rays. Marcelo Suna. Just imagine Miami still had all these guys on their roster. It'd be a pretty good team. Definitely would be challenging. For the uh, AL or NL East. Tucker Bernhardt. Oh, I got a 150 card. Chance Cisco, Thong Song. Braden Woodruff. And let's see here. Well, I don't want to know. He's, oh, he's a Met. Lugo? Is that Lugo? Nope. Steven Matz. 150. So those are numbered. Nope, they're not numbered. 150. And there's Mike Matuk. He looks like someone. Don't know. Again. Will Myers. So there's the non-gold one. Hunter Dozier for the Royals. I haven't got a lot of Royals. Unless I just haven't been noticing them. Mark Melanson. Great closer. Ian Desmond. I think he hit a home run recently. That was an absolute bomb. Nick Tropiano. And there we go. My first Yankees Luke Voigt card. This guy... The fact that we picked him up for just Chase and Shreve is pretty impressive, I must say. He's just absolutely raking it. Apparently, they looked at his advanced stats with like exit velocity, and they just were like, okay, this guy, he will be a good player if given the opportunity. Mike Fires for the Oakland Athletics. Jake Cave. Johnny Fields, rookie card. Kevin Newman, rookie card. San Francisco Giants, I think it's called Oracle Park now, just like the across the bay where the Golden State Warriors play. Michael Waka Waka. Oh, we got a rainbow foil of Brad Hand. Great name for a pitcher. 
All right. Oh, and look at this. 150 insert of Jacoby Ellsbury. I know it's Jacoby, but Jacoby Ellsbury. What a... Oh, this is going on my mantle. So excited. Noah Syndergaard. Jay's Prospect. Addison Russell. Franklin Barreto. Jacoby Jones. Steve Holt. Brock Holt. And J.D. Davis for the New York Mets. All right. All right. So lots of packs here. Well, not lots, but you know. All right. Yaro Munez. Dexter Fowler. Running quick like he can. Alex Verdugo. Future Stars. Well, that's a pretty cool looking card. Gerard Dyson with the logo. Definitely glad that they're going more back to the uh, away from that those hideous hats and uniforms they had the other year. Jeremy Jeffries for the Brewers. Another 150 insert set or parallel of Nate Jones. That's a pretty cool TD Bank or TD America trade. Tyler O'Neill. Anyone in the states who has a TD Bank? That's Toronto Dominion. That's a Canadian bank. Stephen Wright, P.E.D. Brett Gardner, that's a cool looking card. I don't think it's a short print. 62, it is not. This guy though, he's holding up a spot for Clint Frazier. I said it, I, I'd much prefer Clint Frazier. A.J. Minter, Gold Cup card. Juan Lagares. Matt Shoemaker. Great start for Toronto, one of the one bright spots. Then he, what tears his knee or his leg, something with his lower body in a rundown. San Diego Sluggers, Hosmer gives props to Renfro. Matt Stacy. There we go. All right. Uh, this one, they all feel a bit thick, but then again, it's 14 cards per pack, so that's where. All right. Oh, no, still nothing. All right, Juan Moncada. That's a cool card. Flipping off the hat. Joe Ross for the Washington Nationals. David Fletcher, rookie card for the Angels. Dakota Hudson, rookie card. New York Mets with a beautiful sunset in the background. Uh, City Field, so it's a Shea Stadium. 2009 and up high, down low. Checklist card. Oh, there we go. Jason Hayward, 150. Anything else? Nope. Starling Castro, former Yankee. We brought up Torres, so he was a bit expendable, but, you know, this guy still hits high average. Hits uh, home runs when he needs it. Ronnie Rodriguez, rookie card. Jorge Bonifacio. What do we got here? Isaac Galloway. Alex Avias. Greg Bird. Guy can't stay healthy. Start Like, honestly, had big promise for him when he came up. But I don't think it's going to work out in New York. J.C. Ramirez. All right. How many packs we got left? All right. Video's getting a bit long, so I might cut it short soon. What do we got here? All right. Mike Sorotka. Greg Garcia. Caleb Ferguson, rookie card for the... Dodgers, Lonnie Chisenhall for the Pirates, Corey Knable, unfortunately he is injured, looks like he'll be out for a while, Francisco Mejia, future star, or future S, Manny Machado, rookie card, iconic card reprint, that's pretty cool, any other insert, nope, Willie Peralta, oh there we go, another card I'm looking for, Shohei Otani, rookie cup card, Pretty nice. This guy's doing quite well since he's come back from uh, his injury, or he's currently rehabbing from his injury. David Peralta, Cole Hamels for the Cubs, Mark Canna, and Jason Castro for, that's a pretty cool looking card. Almost looks like a painting of Jason Castro. All right, getting close to the bottom of the box. Still have not received my hit yet so let's go Felix King of the Northwest but not so much anymore King Felix Hernandez future stars Ahmed Rosario that is also on my list knocking that off there 
Franchi. I like Frenchy. I'm going to call you Frenchy Cordero from now on. Christian Stewart, rookie card. Jake Marisnik. Miami Marlins. Pretty cool. I wonder if they photoshopped all those people in there. Oh, there we go. Another All Star 1984 card. Trevor Story. So it looks like it's broken into All Stars and then rookies. All right. Cody Reed. Leonis Martin. There we go. Another one. Scott Kinnery. Future Stars is on my list for cards I'm looking for in the base set. Drew Verhagen. Ryan Braun. Boyd Braun. Serenity now. Andrew Bernatendi. Look at that nice little leap. And Mike Montgomery for the Chicago Cubs. All right. So in the bottom of that stack, I'm at the bottom of the box. Still nothing. Still nothing. James Town. Nick Kuofo. Former Yankee, Ivan Nova. Matt Harvey's not doing very well in L.A. Pittsburgh Pirates team card or checklist. So that's pretty cool. Petco Park. Very beautiful stadium. Tim Hill. And what do we got here? Look at that. Autograph card. There's my hit. It's a 150. Daniel Mengden Mustachio card bit underwhelming very underwhelming but there it is that is my on card autograph not quite it's number and that's kind of cool it's the last one they made 150 out of 150 so there we go see this is why i don't buy these for the hits because i got one last year it was steve duggar autograph 1984 yeah it's i'm more for Collecting the sets. This is just bonus. Hey, if it would have been an Otani autograph or a Guerrero Jr., I'd be over the moon. But those are going to be pleasant surprise. I'm not buying these expecting something crazy. G-Man Choi for the Tembe Rays. Roberto Osuna. Now he's playing for the Houston Astros. Taylor Davis. Hyun Jin Hui. Or Ryu, sorry. Kenta Maeda, and Ryan Presley. All right, so now that I got my hit, I'm going to finish off this video. I'm going to put out a video number two, and uh, we'll go from there. So, so far, there's my stack of inserts for the set. Uh, I'll do a recap video after all of them. Um, yeah, and I've definitely got a lot of the commons that I'm looking for, which I guess you could expect when you buy a hobby box. So thanks for watching this video of the brand new 2019 Series 2 Tops set. Um, I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six packs left, so the next video will be a bit shorter. Um, stay tuned, you never know. There's going to be more, not hits, but hits in my books, but there we go. I got the Mucho Mustachio, Daniel Mengden. So, all right. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for video number two and the recap. Catch you later, guys.